Today, we're gonna be looking at the new Klondike shakes. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, today we're looking at the new Klondike shakes. Um, there's three flavors of these out right now. I only have two of them here. I have vanilla and chocolate. There is also a strawberry one, but every time I've gone to the store, I've yet to see the strawberry. It's, it's hard enough to find these ones, the chocolate and the, the vanilla, because they sell out all the time. Either they just don't get enough in or these are hot item because it's rare that I see them in my store. And I, I shop at Meyer. that's where I look for these at. Um, I bought these some time ago, probably about a month ago and I was gonna shoot a video and then I just kind of put it off and never got around to doing it. But since, and I, since then I purchased these quite a few times and we've, we enjoy them, we still eat them. And I decided I'm gonna do a video because I'm gonna ex explain a few things about these. As the title says, is it worth the squeeze? Because these are these are a bit of work to, to eat these, or drink these, should I say. As you can see on the box here, let's see. Take out of the freezer, wait three minutes, then enjoy. So you can't just open these up and start eating them because the ice cream is pretty hard in here and you're gonna try, let me take a top off here, squeeze it through this, like a little straw opening on the end. So that's where your ice cream has to come out of is that little bit. And right now it's it's hard solid. I just took these out of the freezer. So you're supposed to wait three minutes. Now that three minutes is gonna vary that time length depending on where you live or not where you live, what your climate is. Obviously if you're in a cool air conditioned house and it's you know 67 to 70 degrees in there, it's probably gonna take longer than three minutes for these to thaw out enough to where you can enjoy them. Now, if you're outside or maybe you don't have air conditioning and it's like 80 degrees in your house, these are probably gonna melt fairly quickly and three minutes will work for you. So the time frame is gonna vary and that time frame is really small because from the time it goes from being like too much work to get it out to where it's completely melted and it's just liquid is pretty quickly. So you wanna get it when it's still fairly let me squeeze some up here. This is fairly melted already. As you see, it almost comes out, looks like toothpaste there. So if I let it melt even more, then it's just gonna be liquid and it's not gonna be very good. So, and here's the other problem with these. These are like a like an aluminum foil bag. It's cold, it's cold on your hand holding this. So here's a tip I do. I stick it in a koozie. I have a tall koozie here, which works perfectly. You, you could use the short, the regular can koozies too. There you go. It fits perfectly in a koozie, especially if you're gonna eat these outside. Being in the koozie, it's gonna keep it colder longer, so it won't melt as fast. Let's get some of this vanilla and try it out. Squeeze some of it out of there. And that's the other thing, trying to suck it out. There's a lot of work, so it's almost better just to Squeeze it up. Just squeeze it in your mouth, like toothpaste. I'm just gonna put some out here on the table so you can see it. See the consistency of it. I'm gonna make a mess, just so you can see what it kind of looks like. See, as it comes out, it's almost like toothpaste. That's really what it looks like is toothpaste. Come on. It's stuck. There we go. Let me get some more of this. Let me clean up my mess here. All right, so that's the thing with, that's why I put it in a koozie, because you're, you gotta work from the bottom, just like a toothpaste um, tube. You know, you gotta work it up from the bottom to get it all out of there, you gotta roll it up. And this thing is cold in your hand, so that's why I always stick mine in a koozie. Just, so you're not freezing your hands the whole time. So they are good, but like I said, they're a lot of work. Are they worth the squeeze? Yes, no. Um, we bought the chocolate. The box of chocolate has been sitting in the freezer probably for a month now. I've had a couple of them. 
I don't care for the chocolate as much. Just not that it's bad. Wine down and chocolate, that one says. What does the pillow say? Chill out and vanilla. Um, I guess I'm just not a big chocolate shake fan. So these ones don't go as quickly. And when I do go to the store, usually can find chocolate there. I guess apparently a lot of people just don't enjoy the chocolate as much. The vanilla is good. Like I said, I haven't tried the strawberry yet. I want to try that one. I am a strawberry shake fan. So I think those ones are good. Maybe, maybe the store gets them and those sell out really, really quickly. A decent product. Like I said, they're just a lot of work. What's it taste like? Vanilla ice cream. I mean, that's all really vanilla shake is with a little milk in there. It just tastes like vanilla ice cream and this is just chocolate ice cream. I wish they were, rather than shakes, maybe malts, add a little malt mix in with those. That would make it, I think, taste even better. If you've tried these, let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite flavor? Have you found strawberry? How does the strawberry taste? I want to try the strawberry sometime. I keep looking every time I go to the store. I want to try those. I just picked up two six packs. So six come in this. I picked up two packs of the vanilla today. Like I said, we do enjoy the vanilla, especially on the hot summer days. They're decent. This will probably go right back in the freezer and sit there for a while. Again, it's not like it tastes bad. Just not a big chocolate fan. Prefer vanilla or strawberry over the chocolate flavor. And again, let me know in the comments below if you've tried them, what is your favorite flavor? Maybe you like the chocolate. If you're a big fan of chocolate shakes, definitely check out the chocolate one. You'll probably be able to find these ones in the store. Like I said, I see these all the time. The other two flavors go quickly. Sometimes we just need to sit back, chill out, stress less, and indulge in something creamy and amazing. Yep, we got you. Klondike shakes. And that's that sums it up right there. Sometimes you just want a little snack, a nice cold. You don't want to go through all the work of making a shake. So these are super simple. To, super simple to grab out of the freezer. Then you have to have the uh, patience to sit there and wait for it to melt enough. Luckily, this this one was, I didn't have to let it sit here very long because I just came back from the store and my car has no AC right now. So it was really warm, like 80 degrees in the car, if not warmer. So these kind of melted a little bit on the way. Normally it would have to sit here. I would have to wait quite, a, it would take me a lot longer to suck this down because the ice cream would be a lot harder in there. So that's the thing, you gotta have patience, you gotta be able to wait a few minutes, you know, might be three minutes, might be five minutes, just depends on the climate you're in there. So like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time. All right, I got it here, I might as well try a chocolate one. I haven't had one in a few weeks, just to see how I feel about the chocolate. Boy, these are melting quick today. I can tell you that the chocolate is really chocolatey. Strong chocolate taste. Maybe that's why I don't like it as much. It's almost too chocolatey. I mean, I'm squeezing with all my might. That, okay, it looks kind of disgusting, but I kind of shows you, man, and it's cold. Let me put this one in here. That's what I'm talking about is it's a lot of work. Like when these are frozen solid like that, this has been sitting here the whole time we're doing the video. And I mean, I'm squeezing away at this. There we go. There we go. Sometimes it probably gets a big chunk stuck there. You just got to wait for it. You got to work it out. Yep. I can say still not a chocolate fan. To me, it's just not as refreshing and as, as the vanilla. I can't say about the strawberry, I haven't tried that one yet. Just because it's so chocolatey, such a strong chocolate taste in it, like to me, it's just not refreshing. If you kind of get what I mean. Maybe you don't, maybe you really enjoy chocolate and that is refreshing to me. It's just too much of a chocolate taste. So that's why I don't like those ones. Vanilla's just right, it's perfect. Maybe not as good as the strawberry. I hope to try that sometime. I'll see you guys next time.